Hello guys, and welcome to today's video about the Krivak skin, which is the Coast Guard version right here. The Coast Guard version and the Krivak 3 skin are basically the same. They both have the same turrets. The, the only difference is the paints on the two Krivaks. But this is the original one right here, and this is the Coast Guard version that I'm going to be covering right now. And as you can see, the main difference is the color, it's a Coast Guard, and this is a warship. So let's start from the bow, and we can go down to the stern then. So what we see first is that the turrets are replaced, well the missiles are replaced with a turret. And what that means is that you don't have any missiles on the ship. You do have these right here, but these don't work. These are on the normal Krivak as well, but those don't work. So these missiles right here, those are four missiles, they have been replaced by one turret in the front. This turret does about 5% damage on another Krivak. And let's go over here, where we have another part of the skin. That is different from the main one. That is this right here, the tower with the dishes on it. Here we have two dishes on the normal version and right here is one dish, one single one. And then you have the radar right here, which is modernized compared to the normal Krivak. Which are the big antenna arrays. You still have the torpedo tubes on the Coast Guard version and all of that stuff. Over here we have this little structure that has changed a bit. It got a radar over here, a modernized one. Over there is the old antenna as well. And of course the dish right there. But the dish is gone on this version. The exhaust or the chimney right here is still the same. And the lifeboats as you can see right here. They have changed position a bit. This one is launched from these little things right here. And these are just laying on the deck. Now, the main difference is the turret that got replaced from the missiles. And over at the normal Krivak, you have two turrets in the back. Those two turrets are gone and are replaced with a helipad on the back. However, you also got two AA guns right here. These are uh, AK-230s uh, on both sides, so one and two. So this has anti-missile uh, defense and anti-air defense. So that's a great feature from this ship. But it doesn't have any missiles and it doesn't have two guns. It just has one in the front. So I'm going to take a look at both of them. Personally, if you just like the Coast Guard skin for the colors and everything like that, I would say you could buy it because this is by far, in my opinion, the best made skin in the game. And I like it a lot. But it's not good for PvP. Let's go and take a look under here. The hull has changed colors, but it's not that much different. The shape is still the same, only the color is different. Over here in the front it's a little bit, the front is white over here and here it's grey so not really much has changed. Now let's get back on here, there we go. And now we're gonna test out some PvP stuff. So like I said the front turret it should do about 5% damage on the other Krivak. And the normal Krivak should do around 6 I believe, 6 damage on this one. So the turret is kind of underpowered compared to the other version, the normal version. So we're gonna check that out right now. The ammo is still the same, it's uh, 352. I have 340 at the moment, but that's not the maximum. So um, I'm going to shoot my friend right here and he's going to tell me how much damage he took from that and then he's going to shoot me and I'm going to look at how much damage I took shot so I'm shooting him once right now there we go now let's wait for him to 
Um, it's 5% damage, so like I said, the gun on the front is only 5% damage on another Krivak. Now he is going to shoot me with one of the back two turrets. We should take around 6 to 7 damage. That's 6, if you fire again it should... Yeah, there you go, now I took 7 damage. So the rear turrets on the Krivak do 6 to 7% damage on the Coast Guard or another Krivak. If he were to fire a missile, the anti-air would try to shoot it down. Anti-air on this ship is actually very good, because it's uh, two of them, and not on the Oliver Hazard Perry. It's just one phalanx, or seaweed, and it's not just enough to take it down. But this one is actually very good for anti-air. So we're going to demonstrate that in a second. And like I said, the ship does not have any missiles anymore, so that's quite sad. I'm gonna turn my ship a bit so it's... Oh, there we go! Oh yeah, okay. That got taken out by the AA very quickly. Oh, that went by. I did not get hit yet. Wow, the AA is so good that I can't even get hit by <laughs> by one of the missiles. One went over or under me, I'm not sure. Out of ammo, yeah. God damn. I thought like this was um, 20% from a missile. Yeah, it was 20%. Um, I wouldn't go for the OHP, it's not needed. The missiles should do 20% on the ship, right? I'm quite sure of it. But now we're gonna compare how much damage the both of the Krivax do against a, uh, a hydrofoil. It should be a lot more, but the gun in the front on my ship should be underpowered a bit compared to the ones on his. Okay, so I've got my friend over here. And he is going to shoot me with the Otomelera that he has on his Hydrofoil. So we're going to see how much damage we take from that hit. Okay, that was 3% uh, damage? Yes, 3%. So, yeah, 3% confirmed. So, this is better armored. No, this is uh, under armored compared to the Oliver Hazard Perry and the Fletcher. These have better armor compared to the Krivak. Could you hit me with a missile? I don't know if you're far enough. You... Oh god. Oh, it's already destroyed. How the hell? What? This anti-air. My god. I think it was 20 when we were testing earlier. I think it was. But yeah, this anti-air is just insanely good. Uh, I'm going to fire one shot at you with the normal turret. Uh, yeah, we could try it with the OHP. Uh, one second, can you come near me so I can shoot you with the front turret? Okay, let's try to hit this. How much damage did you take? 13%. Okay, so that's not the best. So the normal guns on the Krivak do more damage than that. Okay, I'm gonna do it one more time. Okay, yeah, so it's still the same. Hmm, good to know. So the normal Krivak has more uh, heavy guns on it, but the two in the back, that's the heavier ones, and then of course the missiles. So I think we could test it with the OHP now to see if the missiles are 20% damage. Alright, so I have my friend over there in the Oliver Hazard Perry class. He is going to fire multiple missiles at me. Well, it depends. If he can hit me, then we'll see how much damage we take, and if possible, 
you can shoot me right now. I I think you're too close still. Not sure. Oh no. Yeah. Okay. That one hit me. So it's twenty percent damage that I take. That one just nearly got me. Yeah, it was not fast enough. Nice, the AA just doing its job, it's so cool to see. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, but now we know that this gun is not that good. I am going to go ahead and spawn a Hydrofoil, and then we're gonna see how much the normal Krivak turrets how much that does on a hydrofoil and how much the missiles do in a hydrofoil just to see how much damage for comparison we get okay so now we're gonna test out how much damage the Krivox missiles do on this little thing we'll see that in a moment so if possible you can fire a missile at me right now ninety three percent okay so those missiles are way more damage than the one on the OHP or any other for example the missiles I have right here are gonna do sixty percent sixty two I think on a Spaviero class hydrofoil so this thing is weak for uh, the Krivak one missile hit with the Grivak and you can nearly sink this thing. I'm already on fire, I'm gonna die in a matter of minutes. Like... Oh, can you shoot me with the gun? I'm at 93 right now. No hits yet. Almost. I can see the bullets blasting by. Okay, yeah. Okay, I'm sinking. So you at least do uh, 63. No, wait. No, no, no. I was at 93. You do at least. Uh, no, wait. 7 damage. I'm going to reset. I'm going to get another uh, hydrofoil and let's see how much damage the guns do on the normal Krivak. So, what we were thinking the Krivak is actually higher damage but it's less armored so if you want to go for more armor I would say you have to go for the OHP Oliver has her berry class and the Fletcher also has more armor the OHP and the Fletcher have the same amount of armor but the Krivak has less armor slightly less but the missiles on the front they are really more damage also the turrets in the back those do more damage as well Let's see. We're gonna see how much exactly. On a Spaviero class hydrofoil. Okay, so we're gonna turn over here. Let's see if this is true. My anti kill is ending in 10 seconds right now. I'm gonna go. Close to your uh, stern, so you can shoot me easily. Alright, go ahead and uh, shoot me if you want. With the turrets. 17% damage. That's good, that's good. Wasn't it like 16 on the uh, OHP? I'm pretty sure it was 16. Yeah, 17% damage from one turret shot from the normal Krivax turrets. That's quite good. So now you know the normal Krivax has less armor. But the missiles in the front are the ones that are the more damaging to other vehicles, or other ships. Now we're gonna go and equip Krivak 3. This is the same as the uh, Coast Guard one, only the colors are different. So the same gun, 
no missiles and a helicopter pad in the back and we can see the differences already for example there's way less like you see the little tracks right here on the ship that's not on this one but overall it's mainly the same over here you have the little circles that's different colors uh, no major changes so this has also the advanced radar the modernized radar and everything else so is it worth it for buying the, uh, the skin in my opinion I wouldn't do it just for PvP reasons but if you like the skin and you think it's very nice, which I do think it's very nice, then I would suggest you buy it, because you won't regret it. I think it looks great. Also, one difference, you cannot enter through here. You have to go through here, which on the normal Krivak is not the case. Well, there's just no door. You can just walk through it right here. So I hope that helped you guys out in deciding whether to buy it or not. If you liked the video, leave a like. If you want to see more of this, feel free to subscribe. I'll do more for these uh, war vessels, more skins. And if you want to see more skin reviews of normal vessels, I'll do that as well. But for now, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye bye.